Making flamethrowers in Space Station 14 is a somewhat lengthy process, but not exactly difficult. I'll explain exactly how to do so. So what is required is you need to research all civilian services. And this is, again, a video explaining how to make flamethrowers. So I'm going to assume you're a scientist, and you practically have to be a scientist to be the one to make it. So you just research all civilian services, and obviously this is not something you do around start. Thankfully, civilian services doesn't have much in it. It only has about seven techs until you can get it. You might have to research uh, eight. Either way, though, with advanced spray, you get the spray nozzle, the backpack, water tank. And another requirement is you need uh, some chemistry stuff or biochemical. You need not virology, not biochemical stasis. You need chemistry because you need large beakers, and you need chemical dispensary, and that's it. As all is required to make flamethrowers. So all in all, it took in this exa in this example, it's not always going to be this simple. It took five biochemical and eight civilian services. So 13 techs. Uh, that's very easily achievable. Uh, that's like one good anomaly over a few minutes, or even two decent artifacts, or one really good artifact. Anyway, super achievable. What you do is you come over here. You can print out the backpack, water tank, and the spray nozzle. I just have them here. They're rather expensive, so you're going to need materials, but it's not hard to get materials. Just bag chem or bag cargo. And you need some large beakers, which only cost 200 glass. Realistically, you only need two. Another thing you're going to need, you're going to need to get a field tank, which you can find pretty often in maintenance. Uh, it's probably worth securing one early in the round. That way cargo doesn't sell them because they love selling them and uh yeah this is everything you need you and obviously i didn't build the chem dispenser but i got the tech for it and yeah you just need a chem dispenser and these two things and two large beakers and a field tank and you can make unlimited ammo flamethrowers so what you do is first you got to make the dangerous one so you need to put 15 fluorine in one and i'm sure there's more perfect measurements i'm just showing you the ones I know. You need to put five chlorine in this one. Now, a lot of maps have bomb suits for science, but if I show you, uh, yeah, this one does not. Uh, Saltern has not gotten all of its stuff updated, and I'm not even entirely sure if every map has bomb suits, but either way, look for a locker that looks like this. I'll have L4 on it. Get your bomb suit, get your helmet, and you're going to want to pick a very secluded area. If anything, do it in an artifact chamber. And what you do is you have to mix the two beakers together. It's going to explode. I destroyed the light, but it doesn't cause any permanent damage. And ideally, you should mix the chlorine into the fluorine, not the fluorine into the chlorine, but... With the bomb suit, you take so little damage from it, it's very irrelevant, and the damage is minimal. And you should just be ready to fix it. So if we look at this, we got 20 CLF3, which is what we need. And just dump all of that into the water tank. And now, this is a very, very easy to measure recipe. You first just get, for every 90 you're going to make, you need 10 fuel, 10 carbon, 10 hydrogen, and then 30 ethanol and 30 fuel. And there you go, 90 napalm. And then if you want to make this easier, you can either spam click it or you can set the transfer amount to 50. And there you go. And if you set the transfer amount as I just showed you on purpose, you'll end up accidentally pulling 50 fuel, which is too much. So just clear it and then set it back down to five just because it's easy to measure and remember it's you can even do 40 fuel at a time to save some effort and then 10 carbon and hydrogen then this fuel stays in there and then you just do 30 ethanol and there you go more napalm and then there's also the spam click method a lot of clicking though so you can save your clicks if you just set the transfer amount either way this backpack now has 180 napalm and 20 CFL3. You can literally keep going. It has a thousand units of storage until you have 980 napalm and 20 CLF3, 
which means you have 100 shots of flamethrower. So I'll show you how it works. So you just get the spray nozzle, and you put the backpack on, and I will spawn a Urus real quick, and get a health analyzer just so you can see how this works. You just simply turn on harm with the nozzle in hand, shoot it once, and what it does is it instantly applies three flame stacks per shot. People can have up to 20 flame stacks, and just look at the insane damage from three shots. And obviously he lost a flame stack already. But this is one shot. Making it arguably one of the most lethal weapons in the entire game. And the damage will start slowing down. And if I just examine him, you can see he has 0.4 flame stacks, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Naturally starts going out, but it does about 60 heat damage with one shot. If I shoot him again... As you can see, more than three flame stacks. It's a bit varying, but two shots will guarantee kill if they don't stop dropping rolling. And even if they do stop dropping and rolling, I mean, then they're stopping and dropping and rolling. And he is crit. What is really cool about the flamethrower, that is probably its most crazy capability, is if I spawn myself a hard suit, amazingly enough, it actually does enough damage. If you just keep hitting them. To even be somewhat lethal. Even in space. If you had more ammo. You could absolutely kill somebody in space. See he took 46 burning. And I blew the battery. I would say he's crit but not from the burning. But he took about 48 heat. Even in a vacuum from a decent amount of shots and still continues to burn. So, even in the flamethrower's worst case scenario, it is still a rather lethal weapon and worth considering. Uh, yeah, so if you do the, if you just sit here being patient with your mixes, you can have a hundred shots. And without a spaced area, you're basically unfightable because you just, unless your enemy has a fire extinguisher. But, yeah, that, there you go. Uh, I felt like I've seen a decent bit of people using this but not sharing it, and yeah, I decided to share it.